Hey, IOSTEX here. If you like the coaching sessions I upload, make sure to visit iostex.com to book your own session. My sessions always come with my unique coachy pass, which allows all of my clients to ask me unlimited questions via Discord DMs. They can even include replay codes with their questions. This way, even getting a single session gives you an unlimited amount of value as long as you stay in touch, even if you decide not to get another session after your first. Where other coaches ditch you the moment they're done with their sessions, I'll stay with you until the end. For those of you committed to long-term improvement, you can also check out my multi-session packs. The more sessions you buy in bulk, the cheaper they get, up to a massive 55% off. There are also loyalty discounts where, as you complete more and more sessions, ordering follow-up sessions gets cheaper and cheaper. And for those of you with limited schedules, I also offer weekend sessions. This not only allows you to schedule your sessions on weekends, but you can also schedule them outside of my regular business hours, and it guarantees you a slot as soon as the upcoming weekend, even if the regular schedule is booked out weeks in advance. All that aside, I hope you'll enjoy the session. So that means that I'm highly unprepared. Uh, I need to quickly open up my website. You are, oh my God, what is this? Okay, so the, the, the first name is easy, Jose, but your, your last name, how do you pronounce that? Is that Paez or Pez or? Yeah, actually, yeah, you actually got it. Uh, you're Jose right on the Paez. First try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, very good, very good, very good. And uh, okay, by your email address, by the way, I'm sorry if this comes off as stalkerish, but I'm always like looking into this stuff. At miami.edu. I'm talking to yeah. a scholar. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, studied at a uh, University of Miami in Florida. Mm -hmm. So actually how, just graduated. How old are you? Uh, I'm 28. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you studying? Uh, so I actually recently in May uh, got my law degree. Um, and so that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually, as we speak, not literally, but I'm studying for my, you know, to get like my license from mm -hmm. the state of Florida. So what kind of law, like persecution or becoming a judge or? Uh, criminal law, um, long term, you know, I guess with d defense, um, that's I guess that's really I could do either side, honestly, and I've worked with both sides. Mm -hmm. I guess basically it's easier to make a living doing defense work. You know, if, if, you're, if you're really passionate about the field, it's a lot easier to make a living. Um, you know, because because if you want to do prosecution, you have to work for the government. So that way, you know, your salary is capped uh, oh, okay. to what, whatever they can afford. Yeah. Okay. At, at least here in the U.S. Are there no advantages to working for the government, though? Oh, definitely. Initially, what so what a lot of people do at the end of the day, most people end up working for the government one way or the other. Uh, it's really good to go work for the prosecution. Is that what you is that sort of the same thing you would call it over there in Germany? Um. I honestly don't really know that much about German law. Okay, the okay. only knowledge I have about law is from fucking Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. So I'm not exactly okay. qualified <laughs> here. Um, yeah. So there are advantages to, to working for the prosecution. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people do do that for, you know, anywhere from three to five years. I'm giving you like the basic formula, you know, the, the one size fits all. And then if people, you know, really want to do criminal law, then they usually go into private practice, you know, with that experience under the belt. Okay. So you want to have your own, uh, I don't know what the English term for is. In, in Germany, we call it a Kanzlei, I guess, like your own law firm of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely the long-term goal. Uh, again, you know, once I first get licensed and then I'll, I'll need to get a, no less than three years of experience either working for the prosecution or here we also have uh, court appointed lawyers or, mm -hmm. you know, they're called public defenders. Yeah. Um, and that's really what everyone does. 90% uh, we'll say, uh, because it's a very, it's an amazing way to get experience. Um, they really just kind of throw you out into the lines. Then what mm -hmm. happens if you go to work for a private law firm right out of graduation? Uh, sure. You'll get to work on, You'll get to work on material, obviously, but you don't really get hands-on experience. They sort of keep you in the okay. back. You don't get to go to trial and like speak. Um, so people usually go work for the government for either side, and they do that for some time. Well, honestly, I respect it. I don't think I would have the patience to like pursue a career that is that, uh, you know, that time in 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 intensive, I guess. 
I mean, look at me. I got so impatient doing shit that when I that, that when I was 18, I just started the whole coaching thing. So uh, I don't think I could handle studying until I'm 28. But uh, I respect it. I think that's pretty sick, honestly. Oh, uh, Laws law like, uh, go for it. I'll tell you this though. You know, I I like what I love what I do. I really do. I like it, and I wouldn't change anything. Mm -hmm. Every single year that goes by, I. I guess you could say every single year that passes, I become more supportive of the here in the U.S. the quote unquote non traditional routes. So every year that goes by, you know, if I meet someone and they, and they tell me they're studying to be a plumber or mm -hmm. they just want to go into business, every mm -hmm. single year I just become more and more supportive of it. So I, I actually, you know, kudos to you in all sincerity because it is definitely it's expensive. I appreciate that. It's very um you sound very wise given your age you uh <laughs> but I feel thank like, you thank i you. feel like that comes with the field you know like yeah you know i think it's good i think it's good okay so let's actually get into some coaching uh first everything you say do or show me during the session is entirely confidential second i highly recommend you take notes third the mantra that i follow with these sessions is once a coachee always a coachee which means that even after the session is done, if you have any questions, you can just send them to me and I'll help you out. And you can also send in replay codes if they help me answer the question. Okay. Uh, amazing. Awesome. Oh, well, what do you mean amazing? Is this, is this a surprise? Ah, uh, well, I, I'm, I've read, I've seen a lot of your content. Uh, so I was familiar that, you know, people could still reach out and ask you for help. Dude, you know, I, moving I, I, forward. I swear to God, literally like the biggest value that you actually get from these sessions is the whole coachy mm. pass thing because it's indefinite, yeah. you know, but I feel like I'm, I just suck at like advertising it, you know, like mm. literally above the button, it says all sessions include coachy passes. And then there's a link that explains what that actually is. I feel like you need to rework that a little because, uh, you know, if people knew about it, maybe they would, uh, see the value. Yeah. In it. But, As a uh, consumer, I, I've seen a, a lot of your, a really fair, a, a pretty decent amount of your stuff. I was I wasn't aware of that to be honest, and I think it's. I'm I gonna set up a reminder. Make coachy yeah. pass more <laughs> obvious. You know, maybe yeah. I'll just actually wait. Let me make another reminder. Uh, create an ad. There we go. You know, maybe maybe at the start of my sessions, I'm just gonna have like a little thirty second segment where I talk about like, <laughs> you know, hello. If you're going to like this session, you can get your own, and it has the coachy pass, and there's like loyalty discounts and shit. Maybe that's going to make stuff a little more straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Good, yeah. good, 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 good. So uh, the way that I structure these usually is first, we're going to go over the form, talk about some stuff, see where we're at. And then afterwards we can go over the gameplay. Since you only have a one appointment, I don't want to spend too much time talking so that we have mm -hmm. enough time to actually go over the VOD. Uh, okay. So... Do, 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 do. The first question that I have is, uh, you said that you've been playing seriously very, very recently, uh, August yeah. 2020. Yeah, so a hobby of mine has always been, you know, like like competitive uh, computer games. I, I, came, I came from TF2 mm -hmm. uh, early, mid-August. I was competitive in TF2. Um, a long time ago, I was really competitive in uh, World of Warcraft, uh, the first expansion, the Burning Crusade. What did you um, do there? Uh, I played 5v5 and 3v3 arenas. We... Who the fuck plays 5v5 arena? I, in the ladder, man. I mean, come on. Yeah, you know, Okay. it's there. I, I was never it a fan of 2v2. Literally, 5v5 is such a meme. Okay, yeah, okay. But you play 3v3, so, uh, you know, I'm going to respect that at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's we a long were... time ago. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Okay. So, you know, video games are, it's still a big hobby. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as long as I have the time for it, honestly, and COVID has helped, mm -hmm. I really I really like being competitive uh, in video games, mm -hmm. specifically computer games. I usually just pick one game, I fall in love with it, and I just try to get as good as I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the thing, so how long have you been playing Overwatch in total then? Since mid-august oh wait so that's when you picked up the game yeah yeah oh, okay okay and then i'm assuming that you're uh, like you've kind of been improving very quickly mainly because a lot of the skills that you've built in uh, team fortress are kind of 
transferring over. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the fundamentals carried over. Okay. Okay. That's good to hear. And now you feel like you've reached a point where, you know, all of those fundamentals have carried over. And if you actually want to get higher, you kind of need to start putting the work in. Yeah. At this point, you know, I've been hard stuck 2,600. I've been hard stuck, uh, you know, 3,100. I've been hard stuck, right? But I do feel like I'm kind of running. Yeah, I'm having, I'm like hard, hard stuck at this point, we'll say. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, one thing that I need to talk about is uh, you mentioned twice in the form, actually maybe even three times, that you're struggling with consistency. So you said that your your main goal is to improve and be more consistent, and your biggest weakness probably being consistent in like all capital letters. Um, this is kind of where I want to bring the first point across. Uh, consistency is not is basically never the reason why someone isn't climbing. Um, consistency only really matters in rather small sample sizes. In larger sample sizes, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. And since you play for 30 to 35 hours a week, becoming more consistent isn't really going to change that much. It's not really mm -hmm. going to affect your win rate. What you're not asking is to be more consistent um the, the 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 fluctuations in skill they'll always be there even if you yeah. go all the way up to overwatch league do you think that overwatch league players don't have bad games yeah um can i elaborate a little bit go for it or, so i find that there's games where like i i feel like i'm in a, in a sense like i I've, i don't know i've unlearned so I'll put it to you this way, just as, as one example. There's games where the enemy team is running like Tracer, uh, there's a ball, or maybe they're running full dive, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm playing Zenyatta, and I, ha I have no problem. Like, I'm, like, literally, I'm playing at the range of, like, my Harmony and Discord orb, right? And, and I, like, I'm barely tickled all game. But then there's games where one Tracer or one ball is absolutely farming me so mm -hmm. consistency in that it seems like some games i've got the positioning down and the game sense but there's other games where i don't so so that's like one example that i'll give you of like the the, the consistency that i mean okay which probably so falls under what yeah yeah so you basically want to get an understanding so basically you're playing in a way right now that works sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't and you want to understand why that is, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a little different from uh, usually in, in 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 tutors when we talk about consistency, it's like consist in in um, if you're trying to do something but you can't do it all the time, even though you're trying. You know, like the main example being mechanics, like aim, for example, or situational awareness. Um, what you're referring to is just pure game knowledge. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is just like. Um, in case you ever talk to like someone else, if you tell them consistency, they're going to kind of get a different idea and it's going to make communication a bit difficult. But I 100% mm -hmm. understand what you're talking about. And once we go over the VOD, we can hopefully kind of elaborate on that understanding a little bit so that when you get into those situations where something doesn't work, you at least understand why it's not working and then you can change it. Okay. okay. Uh, so you did uh, VOD review, self review, GM coaches reviewing, yada, yada, top 500 pro streamers. Mostly learn positioning yep. from this, but also meta comps and when to flank. I watch a good amount of YouTube Twitch content from a variety of sources to learn the game. So how long have you been hard stuck? Uh, I have been stuck 3,500 to 3,700, probably three to four weeks, which for me, I mean, that's for a lot of people. That's, that's not probably that not long. Um, yeah, that's not hard stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a lot of many people that that's probably that's definitely not hard stuck, but I guess the way that I've been progressing, I'm not happy with like I mean, I'm not I, I'd like to just like get past this and get better. I I'm not happy with the pace at which I'm getting better um from like masters. Um let me see what how how could I phrase this? No, no, I understand I what like you're I'm saying. Uh, I'm just going to be a little disheartening here. Uh, in terms mm -hmm. of pace, it's not going to go super fast. Um you're starting to move 
in, in into the absolute top percentages of the game uh, improvements and margins at this level are very very minimal so the, the the pace of improvement is something that's not going to be reflected in your sr that quickly um, what that means is that even if theoretically you would improve to a higher skill level a skill rating at that level is a lot less volatile it's a lot more inert i guess uh, it doesn't move mm -hmm. as much so even if yeah. i would take a top 500 player on your account uh, he would climb but even he would probably take a little while you know it's like a, a kind of a, a steady progress you know um so uh, just to kind of keep the expectations in check here um you know when when we talk about climbing from masters to gm three to four weeks is not hard stuck that process can usually take a couple of months you know maybe three to four months is from my experience the average amount of time that's needed um so th the reason i'm saying this is because i don't want you to look at your situation and then think that you're doing something wrong and you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hard stuck you know uh, it, it's been four weeks and i'm still you know in in, in masters uh, it just takes a while you know no yeah. matter how efficient your practice and your schedule and everything is it's going to take some time it's kind of delayed you know there's a bit of latency to the actual you know from improvement to giving you actual results mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay um this isn't okay so at the bottom you said uh, zen was the first thing that got me into the game but i couldn't climb with him because i didn't know how to play the game enough eventually once i hit diamond via playing ana and felt more confident in my game sense knowledge i started one tricking zen i know it is suboptimal but i love it to be honest uh, yeah here's here's again um ultimately um you don't need me to tell you that playing only one character isn't the most optimal way to play overwatch however there are situations where doing this is kind of the only option um, for example, just recently I had a coaching session where we didn't even go over a replay. It was literally a, just one hour of talking. And, and, you know, he kind of realized that, you know, he, he doesn't really like Overwatch. He just likes Zarya. You know, if they okay. would remove Zarya from the game, he literally wouldn't play the game. But he's been forcing <laughs> himself to, like, play all of the other off tanks. And, and it just kind of sucked the fun out of the game. And he would have to take breaks all the time because it just wasn't enjoyable for him. And, uh, you know, he just told himself, okay, you know what, I'm just going to one trick Zari. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's actually enjoying the game. And ultimately, that's kind of the point here. So, yeah, as long as you love one tricking Zenyatta, that is perfectly fine. And let's phrase it this way. There are, there are much, much worse characters to one trick than Zenyatta. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not like you're one tricking fucking, uh, uh, I don't even know, like Torb or Symmetra or, uh, yeah, or yeah. whatever. <laughs> okay. Good, 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 good. So, uh, oh yeah, there, there was one more thing that I, this is just, this is just my curiosity sparking, you know, you said that a 4200 SR coach recommended my YouTube channel. Yeah. He, uh, Uga, I can type this to you. Uga uh, Booga. Uga Booga. Ah, yes. Very, very, um, good name. Very. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll send it to you, but um. Uh, no, no, you don't. You don't need to. I don't care. Okay, okay. Just, I, I was just I was just curious, you know, what the situation there was. Um, so you got you've gotten coaching before. Um, not like it... this is my first paid coaching session. Uh, he mm -hmm. was just offering his services. He did one VOD review, uh, for free. Mm -hmm. Um, and he, he he at the end, well during he was like, man, you know, there's this guy. You should watch his videos. And then later, he you know he remembered the name and he sent me your YouTube channel. Yeah, well, then let's look at some gameplay and make sure you get your mummy's worth, Mr. Big Puppy. Uh, are you actually a dad or is that name just... No, no, no. It's just it's just like an old username I've used for a long time. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got to get on that. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me share my screen. How is this looking? Like video quality wise. Uh, oh, it looks looks well. Looks really good. Looks really good. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday I had one with some dude from the Netherlands, and no offense, but his internet was a little uh, EU, to put mm -hmm. it mildly. Yeah. So uh, that's why I love coaching people from NA because almost all of them have good internet. Yeah. No, it looks really well. So. Very good. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> I, I I pay like two euros and ninety nine cents each month extra just so my upload is a little bit faster. 
Because yeah, I do something similar. A German internet is a little garbage. Like even if you get a business plan, you can't get more than 50 Mbit up. It's kind of stupid. Okay, 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 okay. So you're right clicking, that's good. Switching to left click against tanks, that's also good. Why the fuck are you wanking off back here? You're you're kind I... of drifting a little, you know? It's like there's a there's there's a wave coming and you're just kind of floating away. I'm probably anticipating that the enemy team is going to push faster than they actually are. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, listen here, that makes literally zero sense. Um, what's okay. the enemy team comp? Is there anyone that can uh, that can dive you? No. No. Okay. Um, so that's 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 factor number. And then factor number two. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how how offensive is this? position how much pressure does this apply on the enemy team i think it's i think it's a good position and a safe one for you're, me you're I'm literally not... staring into a wall um oh, you, oh, you're, oh a, yeah. you're a you're a projectile character at this distance whether your shots land or is, is basically rng yeah yeah okay um so uh you the, the enemy team isn't scared of you this this position is a little uh you know a little question mark um yeah, because yeah. it doesn't really give you, you know, you don't need that. Who the fuck is going to dive you? You know, there's no one on the enemy team that can that can just go oh, plop and then and then you're dead. Um, and again, you're you're just not effective. Now the part that I find interesting because your argument here kind of made zero sense. Uh, you said that you overestimated how quickly they were going to push forward. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in. Can you think of why that is not a good argument for you standing over there on the North Pole? All of their character, so there's the characters they're playing aren't very mobile. So I correct, I am not going to dive. The cart is also further back than what I felt, or the the cart is much further back than I thought it was. My entire team, I'm looking at is stuffing the choke point uh let's see yeah i have my genji like on the flank i have three people on the choke okay yeah okay now you, now you're starting to analyze information that you wouldn't have had in a game okay. yeah uh, basically the only information that you need to think about here is that the enemy team is not playing a dive comp yeah okay so the way that overwatch is meant to be played especially as zenyatta the first thing that you need to get into your head is that zenyatta is not a support okay mm -hmm. You're not playing uh, Holy Priest, you're not playing Resto Shaman, you're not playing fucking Holy Paladin, okay? You're basically a DPS character that has healing. Literally, Soldier can do more healing than Zenyatta. So start thinking of yourself more as a DPS, okay? Because the real... Healing people as Zenyatta is not difficult. Putting Orb on someone, that doesn't really get you to GM. You know, that's nothing to be, like, proud of. It's not like a skill, right? You're literally called Chad Yatta. <laughs> you need to yeah. start acting like one you know your mindset needs to be how far can i push the enemy team you know like imagine you're a school bully you know and you try to like bully someone as much as you can without like it getting out of hand this is a terrible analogy by the way but like the only other mm -hmm. one that i had was a little sexual and i, I don't want to go there today gotcha. um, <laughs> okay but basically you need to like you need to get a little closer to the breaking point, you know, there's like, a, it's like your effectiveness, you know, let's say we can measure your effectiveness by a number, right? And if you try to push that effectiveness too high, right, Chernobyl happens, okay, a nuclear meltdown, the enemy team is going to punish you for your overaggression, right? But if you're playing very, very safe, and you're just not playing very, very aggressive, then of course the enemy team can't punish you. You know, the nuclear reactor is safe, but nobody's TVs are working because there's just not enough power coming, right? So you want to push the reactor as far as you can go. You want to try to push your level of aggression and the amount of damage that you deal as much as you possibly can before you die. You need to find that sweet spot and then tread that fine line right at the edge, right at the threshold. But right now you are so fucking far away from that threshold. And yeah. the decision making that has led you to taking a position. Look how far behind your Ana you are. 
Okay. Yeah. If I was coaching this Ana, I would tell her that this position is too far back. I would tell her oh. to play over here so that she can look for okay. mates. Okay. And she can stay close to her team. Okay. You're like doubling that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you know, I mean, Zenyatta can't, you can't keep your teammates alive very long, right? You're not like a Moira who can just heal, 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 heal until she runs out of resources or like a Baptiste who can just spam heal. You know, your healing is very, very negligible. There's there's two sides to every team fight. It's about preventing the enemy team from killing your team while also trying to kill the enemy team, right? But you need to fight both fronts. You can't just try to only keep your team alive because there's not enough healing, like no combination of two supports can out heal six enemies dealing damage. It's just not theoretically possible, right? So how good you are at healing people only really kind of delays the inevitable and it buys you time, right? It buys you time to fuck the enemy team up. That's what Zenyatta really is for, okay? Either by pumping right clicks into people who are squishy and into their heads and you can one shot them, or again, standing with your team and then playing aggressively, you know, like maybe standing over here, for example, actually kind of being close to your team and then going for headshots on the Zarya. Okay. Gotcha. But what you're doing here is like not the most effective because you're not in control of your shots, really. You know, you're, you're, you're just, you're not shooting people. You're spamming an area and you hope that someone runs into it. Mm -hmm. And that's okay if you're playing Junkrat, but Zenyatta is not a spam character. Like, your shots need to be very, very deliberate. And if you're playing from this far away, your gameplay is going to be very inconsistent. Because whether you land shots or not is kind of RNG, you know? Um, so yeah, that first point was kind of pathetic. You guys didn't even really put up a fight. You, mm -hmm. you, you kind of just gave up that point immediately. Like even right here, again, look at your positioning. What is this? You wrote in the forum that you're worried that someone is going to dive you. But but I feel like you've just taken that mindset and you've applied it to all of your games. There's nothing yeah. about this enemy team comp that, that, that justifies this positioning. This is not yeah. the positioning of a master player who wants to push into GM. You need to dress for the job that you want, you know? I, in, in situations like this, you need to ask yourself, would a top 500 Zenyatta player play in this shitty little room and shoot his shitty little orbs across this map like that? Mm -hmm. You know, no. These people have no cover. This Zenyatta is out there in the open. This May is out in the open. Your entire team is with you, you know? Why can these people be that aggressive, but you can't? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like this Genji has more HP than you. You know, essentially this Ana has more HP than you. If anything, right, you need to understand you're actually more tanky because you have uh, shields. Your HP literally regenerates on its own, but you're kind of not using that fact. Zenyatta is so great for solo queue because he's very, very healer independent. Mm -hmm. With other supports, you need to either rely on health packs or you need to pray to God that your teammates heal you. Which again, yeah. they can't do if you stand behind them. As Zenyatta, you don't have that. As long as you don't go below 50 HP, you're completely self-sufficient. I have a question on that note. Go how would it. you how would you apply the self-sufficiency to like if the enemy team uh, has like a ball or a tracer mm -hmm. that is on me? Because then I do need peel. Wouldn't you? Would you say? You need or? to. You need to. So you need to make yourself a less interesting target to dive. So the thing you need to understand is that dives take time to set up. The lower elo you are and the more chaotic the environment, and solo queue is the most chaotic environment because people don't have like synergy or whatever. It takes very long for people to set up a dive. And even when they execute that dive, it's usually not very in sync, you know? So the way that you need to think about this is you need to make yourself a shitty target to dive. You need to discourage the enemy team from diving you in the first place. And you need to make sure that you use that time while they set up the dive to give yourself an advantage and to burn their resources. That Winston or that Hammond, they can't dive you if you just keep pumping Discord orb on him and shooting orbs at them and he's like permanently at half HP. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the way that you discourage the enemy team from diving you is by putting people around you. 
okay? Diving is a Nyata who's standing in the back like this. This is such a free dive target. Because no one can help you. Okay? But when you're playing with your team, you make it much, 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 much easier for them to help you. Does it make sense? Yeah, and I think you describe what tends to happen sometimes with why, why one game of Tracer's dominating me and other games not, because I think the games where I'm playing well against the Tracer or the ball or whatever, uh, I'm, I'm like hugging my teammates to try to discourage the Tracer. But then for some reason, other games, I just get it into my head to basically play like this. But from her point of view, that's a free pick, more or less. I mean, yeah, imagine, imagine you're a Tracer and you're like, you're over here, you know, you're going on your, on, on, on your little flank, you know, you're like scouting a little, and then you see this, you know? Yeah. That's a like, freebie. It's it's super duper free, you know. And again, so so it, the, your position both makes you more vulnerable because you're split from your team, and it also makes you a useless sack of shit because you can't actually shoot anything. And so you keep shooting these random like right clicks, but before you charged all five orbs. Like charge up your right clicks fully. Like, take your time. There, there's no rush. Mm -hmm. Charge up your right click. After you charge five orbs with the right click, you have so much time. Use that time. Don't rush out the orb. See, that was good. Uh, you're, you should have went for the head, arguably, but like at least you charged it to five shots. And yeah, like right here, for example. Your positioning actually makes you an easier target to this Hanzo. You know? Is there a way I could have played it where uh, I was yeah. affected? The problem is you're giving the way that you're positioning. It's kind of a vicious shortcut. Your your passive positioning allows the enemy team to position more aggressively, which forces yeah. you to position more passively, which allows them to position more aggressively. The only way that you can maintain control over the map is by putting up a fight, right? Mm -hmm. Not just by withholding pressure, but by actually applying pressure back. You know, so if right from the get go, you know. If you would have held with your team further forward, you know, you wouldn't even allow them to get into this choke, you know, maybe you, be, you would be playing right here. You know, this position is good. You're right here with your Mei, your Sigma is over here, you're right in front of your Ana, so if you're low HP she can heal you, and you're right up in the enemy team's face, so you can land super duper easy headshots. And you deal a billion damage. And if something goes wrong, you have Transcendence. Just press Q. And you're good. But you don't play like someone who has teammates. You don't play like someone who has uh, self-regenerating HP or someone who has transcendence. You know? You're, you're playing like a damsel in distress, basically. Like you're, 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 you're the... Yeah, you know, like the objective of the game is to keep you alive. But that's not the objective of the game. It's not to stay alive. You, the, the the goal of the game is to fuck people up. It's a first person yeah. shooter, you know, you need to shoot people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're aiming center mass and you're jumping. Stop yeah, jumping the, because it makes landing headshots very difficult. And actually yeah. aim for headshots. Yeah, the jumping is actually like I've literally got a sticky note on my monitor. It's something that I used to do much more. But yeah, see, like these team fights that you're losing, you're 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 not like if we go back to when you use trance, for example. Let's go back a little. There we go. You know, uh, like first of all, it's a four v six. What are you trying to salvage here? Yeah. I probably Is didn't this 4v6 realize. Is this four v six really yeah. worth saving with your trance? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not really, it's not winnable nine out of ten times. So yeah. No. So not, don't don't invest your shit into this. Wasting May Ultimate here is already like kind of a death sentence. Putting trans in there is just, you know, submitting your will. Um, and you're also giving up your main point of leverage. Having trends is that safety net that allows you to play like super duper aggressive. But when you don't have it, then you need to play a little, a little again. I'm not saying that you should like play like you're doing now. You know, you, even then you should still play more aggressive than you do now, but just not as aggressive. 
<clears throat> because yeah, this this entire thing here is like uh, you, you're you're always on the back foot. You're just you just keep getting rolled over, and you're not putting up a fight. You're just letting them roll over you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so right here you need to regroup. Regroup, Sigma. Regroup, regroup, regroup. You know, especially when you have double off tank. Like, double off tank is really cool because you deal so much fucking damage. Like, your entire team is just this artillery. Like, this Reinhardt's shield on the enemy team literally melts in like two seconds with your team comp. But again, you know, your positioning here is like so. Yeah, you know, just very scared. You know, like, abuse the space that your teammates are creating for you. Try to push. The limit see what you can get away with mm -hmm. try to try to smell their faces you know like you need to be annoying you need to be the the, the english word for it is cocky yeah you're not being cocky right now you know and i'm not telling you that cocky is the way to get into overwatch league and become the best player in the world no discipline but the only way that you can gain the knowledge necessary in order to become disciplined about your decision making you need to be cocky first you need to limit test but you're not doing that right now. You're not learning anything out of this gameplay. Again, you're just kind of trying to stay alive. You're, and and, and, and the, the universe fights against you. You're going to die eventually. There's nothing you can do. You can, have, you can have absolutely perfect positioning. You're going to die eventually. Your goal needs to be, how can I kill them before they kill me? You're playing against the clock. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, no questions. No, I just I see how a lot of what I learned were probably like outdated advice that was given. Not in, like, outdated advice. Letters. I think you learned it, but the problem is that when you when you learn advice like that, mm -hmm. it doesn't teach you the context. It's not. There's a difference between yeah. between like. Einstein's understanding of his theory of relativity is very, very different from the understanding that like a physics grad gets. Yeah. You know, because actually coming up with the idea and like all of the thought processes and like truly understanding it is different from just learning the concepts and memorizing a few formulas. And it's kind of mm -hmm. the same thing here. It's like you've learned how to position defensively, but not like the context behind it, you know? Like you, you, it's, yeah. it's, th th this looks like someone who's who's studied, you know, like fucking Sun Tzu and like war strategy and whatever, you know, but and, and, and then he goes into war, but like he doesn't know how to actually operate a gun, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, the theory, yeah. but you can't. Execute I have a it. question. Go for the, it. The kind of passive positioning that I have, would you say that that's effective positioning against like a dive comp? Mm, no again it's not effective at all because you're not shooting anything gotcha okay you need okay. to shoot stuff mm -hmm. once someone dives you or someone jumps you then you can play a little bit more you know bitchy try to waste their time but it shouldn't even come to that like what's your if you're being honest with yourself what's your plan to win in this game if none of I... your teammates would 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 you know if they if everyone on your team would play the same way how would you win Yeah, I'd have to. Uh, yeah, are make, you just going to wait that. until they jump off the map? You know, maybe eventually they're going to get so sick and tired of you that they just rage quit. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, the, the, the yeah, damage they... is going to keep coming in. The pressure is going to keep coming in. You know. Mhm. Mm yeah. You need to figure out a way to play the game, so that the enemy team thinks like you do, so that they're worried about how they're going to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Because again, like you, 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 you're, you're doing a good job at spamming right clicks. Again, I don't want to discourage that, right? But it's not just about sitting all the way in the back spamming right clicks. Yeah, you they're know? not like very effective right clicks. Yeah, you know, if you do those right clicks from around the corner, right next to the front line, that's much, much more effective. And also, please aim for the head. You keep shooting people's dicks. The goal of the game mm -hmm. is not to make the enemy team impotent. You know, like right here, for example, right? Right here, 
just chilling and spamming right clicks is good because you've already maxed out the amount of space that you have, right? If you would stand over here, then yes, you would be more effective, you would be closer, but you'd also be overextending because you run in front of your team. But this positioning here is good. You're pushing what your teammates do. Now, if you're frontline, if they would push forward, then you can follow and you can use that extra space. But like this position is good, you know? You're still, relative to your team, you're still in a backwards position, but not like back here, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're at the back of your team without being split from them and you're spamming right clicks because the enemy team is coming back from spawn, you know, but then look what you do here. Oh, wow, man. I literally panned the pan okay, camera to this position just now to tell you that this spot is garbage. Why did you give up all of that space? You understand that the closer you are to someone, the bigger a threat you are to them, right? Yeah. But for some reason, you don't use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. You need to use it to your... Get in their faces. Start left-clicking and landing headshots. A little... Actually, it's okay. I, I, it's okay. Maybe a little panicky, but it's okay. Look, now it's too late. Now the enemy team is running, running over you. You didn't deal much shield damage. You didn't apply a lot of pressure on their tanks. You didn't do a whole lot. You're not losing these games because you're, you're you're dying. You're losing them because you're giving the enemy team so much time to kill you. Mm -hmm. At least Obama is here to save the day. Thanks, Obama. I actually, yeah, I was about to say. So speaking of uh, Obama, um, so I have a question about harmony or uh, harmony or usage. What the so, fuck does Obama have to do with? You'll see. You'll keep see. Going. So. In general, what I try to do is put an orb. I try to farm transcendence generally. Yes, correct. And I put it on a tank. It's better yes. to heal armor than HP. Um, so this guy was complaining. He said, you know, I'm Echo, you're Zen. Can you put orb on me so I can go do stuff? I didn't. Well, first of all, I'm not in voice comms. I think your advice about that is amazing. But he was like uh -huh. typing in that chat. Yeah, I mute that um, shit too. Useless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. It's okay. Good. And so anyways. Yeah. If I'm playing, let's say I'm like duoed and I know this echo and I can like quote unquote trust this echo or maybe yeah. it's a tracer, would you recommend putting the orb Unless on that person? This is like a top 500 smurf boosting you. You do not put orb on him. You're playing double off okay. tank. Your tanks need that orb way, way more than him. Because if okay. they don't have every little bit of healing that they can get, they don't have a Reinhardt shield or Rissa shield to hide behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. They need that healing. Okay. A Sigma Hog is arguably like, I mean, it's okay, actually. Yeah, it's it's okay, you know, but they need the healing in order to actually play aggressive. And if they play aggressive, you can play aggressive. The more aggressive your tanks can play, the more aggressive you can play. Like, again, look at this. Why not stand over here and actually try to deal damage? You know, like just a couple headshots into the Zarya, a couple headshots into the Sigma. They don't even have a Rhine anymore. It's not yeah. even like there's a shield blocking you. But you're not looking for the heads, you know? You keep going back and back and back and back and back and back. Because for you, yeah. the definition of failure is dying. Yeah. But the definition yeah. of well, failure is losing Yeah. the team fight. Just because you stay alive doesn't mean that you aren't responsible for losing the team fight. You need to carry your teammates. Or at least try to, you know? And again, you keep going for body shots. You need to like aim just a little higher. Uh, by a little, I mean like a lot. Yeah. I mean, there you were like almost pushing up with your tanks. And again, like here, using right click is okay. Just spam down the Rhine shield a little, burn their resources. Oi, oi, oi. The trance is okay. Okay, come on. That Rhine shield is almost down. Discard on that Rhine and fuck him up. Like, do you see how much damage, like, a single headshot does? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. You know? 124 with this. Imagine course, if yeah. you can land like multiple back to back, bam, 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 and the Reinhardt is out of the out of the game. But like, how many enemies can you see right now? Yeah. Zero. Okay. Let's compare that to your team. She can see three enemies. She can see two enemies and a little bit of the Rotog. Okay, well, he can see no one, but that's because he used his ultimate. She can see three enemies. Theoretically, he could also see people, but he was focusing down the Reinhardt. So every single one of your teammates is looking at an enemy, if not even yeah. multiple enemies. But who, what enemy are you like shooting right now? You don't have a target yeah. because of your position. Like teamfight is over. You missed the bus. You know, it's like you're not going to be in the credits. You didn't do much. <clears throat> and yeah, at this distance, you don't left click, you charge up right clicks. See, like, look what that Hanzo did. <laughs> Just pressed Q and he won the team fight. Just saying, mm -hmm. you know, like, y they're, they're constantly being proactive. And to be honest, like, this team fight is really, is, is basically a loss anyways, because your team just doesn't have ultimates and they have, uh, they had dragon and they have May ultimate. So there's not a lot that you can do in this fight. <clears throat> Just reset. Reset, reset, reset. Oh, well. What are your thoughts so far? No, I mean, literally, literally the way that I've learned to position and I mean, you hit it on the net, like you hit the nail on the head. It's actually, it's crazy. The, the way that I learned to get to where I am, which is like, you know, 35, 37 is basically like have zero death. Making That's yourself as easy to carry as possible. Yeah. That's how I would describe your play style right yeah. now. You know, like you're probably a pleasure to play with if you would pay someone to boost you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but you need to start boosting yourself. You need to like take matters into your own hands, you know? Mm -hmm. oy, 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 oy. Dude, I'm so excited. My, 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 my girlfriend gave me a lot of shit because I didn't mm -hmm. buy my twin sister uh, a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, at, at first I didn't want to because I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm a little greedy. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I, you, you, you can't maintain a business like this without being a little greedy, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. I, uh -huh. <laughs> um, but then, you know, I, I, I you know, the, she convinced me, you know, she, she <laughs> turned my, my, my dark, cold heart around. And I, mm -hmm. I bought her like uh, a present, you know, and I like mm -hmm. I, I, I faked it. You know, I, I told her like, hey, there's this person on the discord who has the same hobby as you and they want to buy this and that. Can you give me a recommendation for her? You know, like I basically asked her for like her oh. dream thing, you know? Oh, I like that. I really yeah, like that. Yeah. And then she's like, well, you know, like if she really wants to, you know, like have the best of the best then she needs to get one of like one like this brand and this model. You know, and then she like started getting kind of salty because she's like, oh, my God, dude, I wish I had that. And uh, let's just say that uh, a very nice Amazon delivery mailman is going to come over to my sister's place tomorrow. I actually like that. You know, hey, I've got a friend that also has the same. I actually like that. Uh, I'm going to remember that. She's yeah. going to be very, very. Oh, no, trust me, because I bought my, my girlfriend a dress and like jewelry. And trust me, do not buy people gifts that you don't have any clue about 
Okay. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I am never going to do that again. It's a fucking terrible idea. Uh, but I mean, what is there to say? Look, look at this. What, what am I looking at? Yeah, same thing. Like this, Anna is already like she needs to grow a pair. You know, this is already kind of, you know, um, mm -hmm. but but you're you're like, you're one upping her. You know, yeah. it's like a competition. Who can be the, who can be a, a, a bigger, useful, useless piece of shit? Like, and like you're spamming, and like that's good, but it's RNG. Like these people are just running yeah. into you. You're not aiming for anyone. You know, like that's the problem. So far in this game, I can't recall you actually aiming once. Mm -hmm. You're just choosing like an area, like a choke or a corner or something. And you're just shooting at that area. But so far this game, I, I don't think you've ever once actually been like, there's this character, I'm going to aim for the head and I'm going to go and land these shots. You know, it's like, so it's not deliberate, you know. And the only way you can be deliberate with that is by like actually getting into the thick of things, you know. If someone like Jonek can play like an alpha male in an Overwatch League game against Overwatch <laughs> League players, you know? You can yeah. do that in a, in a random ass low masters rank game. Hmm. You see, like these rectics, you don't even know who they're hitting, you know? The only time you actually like deliberately shoot someone is when they're, when they walk, uh, fly in front of you. Also, that jump is so awkward. Like jumping before you fire up your right click. Mm -hmm. It's like you want to make life difficult for yourself. Maintain control of your character. Always. <laughs> Second, you're like looking for these small ass angles and you're just... You just pray to God that it's going to kill something. Okay, this is okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, I, I, did was, not... I, I lived here, but that was a sick hook. Yeah, no, no, I didn't notice you were getting hooked. I thought the replay of you were like, it glitched out. Okay. Yeah, see, like even this right click, you just charged it. And, and in your mind here, I can tell you exactly what happened in your mind. I'm going to right click around this corner. But he didn't actually think. You walked around and you sprayed your right click, but like, you're not aiming at anyone. There's the road hug, there's the Baptiste, there are your shots. It's not like you even tried to aim at them, you know? It's like you don't have faith that your shots are going to land, you know? You need to have that confidence. You need to get into more situations where you know before you press left click or right click that that is going to connect. Because right now your shots are all like Hail Marys. You know, like right there, you literally missed a Roadhog. This is so chaotic. Like right now you don't have a team, you know, now you need to chill. You can't really do a lot. I mean, spamming shield is good. Okay, Echo is probably flaming you here. But not your problem. Okay, look at what your tanks do. And, and a piggyback of their aggression. Abuse the fact that their aggression is going to draw attention towards them. And use that to be more effective yourself. So like even there you just shoot center mass go mm -hmm. for the head again like your chances are okay but yeah you you just keep getting into situations where people are dying and you have like so much time also this is an interesting angle you're a little um this flank is a little cocky Zenyatta isn't exactly a flanker. You should just, again, stick with your team. 
stand behind your tanks, use them as meat shields. But okay. When would you, mm -hmm. well, sorry, when would you recommend uh, uh, flanking as Zen? I will be honest, Zenyatta doesn't really flank. Like, mm -hmm. um, you can like flank when you're smurfing if you want to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Zenyatta doesn't, like, there's no okay. situation really where like flanking is. At least that I can think of, you know, like maybe if you're in like a 3v6, you know, and the team fight is lost anyways, and you just want to try to take someone with you, you can go on a flank and try to like catch them off guard, but it's not really like a, it shouldn't be your default strategy, you know? Okay, yeah, there seems to be like, because the, the reason, the, I guess the place where I got the idea is like, the, there seems to be some idea in like the Zenyatta main community, like on Reddit, and even among like top 500 streamers that like the ultimate alpha thing to do is then is like go flank and get one or two picks but it's good to know that's not really you're you a wanted. little too old to believe in something such as the ultimate alpha thing to do yeah <laughs> yeah you? yeah okay like you don't need to go like yes maybe it's alpha but if you want consistency then you don't want to go for big yeah dick alpha plays you know So questions. Um. So it sounds like there, there's two big things, and right, correct me if I'm wrong, that I really need to just work on. Number one, I get the easier, the easier one. We'll say I need to actually like start clicking on heads and doing like purposeful, like deliberately aiming my shot, right? Um, and then it sounds like the second thing that I really need to work on is. So I guess I'll, I'll call it like, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just put it this way, just being effective and not playing the way that I am playing, which is to have zero deaths. Would you, so would you say that? You're, you're, you need to swap your priorities. Right now your yeah. number one priority is living and your number two priority is being effective. You need to just swap those around. Before you okay. ask yourself, am I in a safe position? You need to ask yourself, am I you know, in a position that's actually annoying for the enemy team? And if you are, then you can see how much safer you can make that position without it losing its effectiveness. Okay, could you repeat that last bit? Sorry, I'm just taking notes. You want uh, to so... first get into a position that's effective and then think about yeah. how you can make that position safer without mm -hmm. it losing its effectiveness. For example, yeah. getting closer to natural cover or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so yeah, so generally, so would you agree? It sounds like those are the two biggest things that I need to work on. Yeah, and it's okay. mostly a mindset thing. You know, like the problem isn't that you don't understand like specific parts of the game. It's not that you're thinking about it the right way. Mm -hmm. Again, you're, you're playing to get carried, basically. Okay, and then I guess just like a, uh, a side question. What are your, I know that people have preferences but I guess to your coaching clients or to clients in general for aim training, are you more of the school of, you know, just play the game or are you more of the school of like, yeah, doing some Kovacs or aim lab? Uh, would nah, be just play the game. Uh, Kovacs yeah. is like, okay. As a little side thing, if you want to, when you're like at a much, much higher level. Um, but yeah. Uh, especially in, 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 in when, when I look at that gameplay, Kovacs isn't going to fix the issues that you have right now. So it's, you mm -hmm. know, it shouldn't be a priority. Yeah, because well, I'm curious, why do you say that Kovacs, because I'm not even aiming for the head, is that why? or B Because you're not putting yourself into positions where you can actually shoot people. Gotcha. What's the point yeah, in yeah. having good aim if you're not shooting anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, First, you need to so determine you... that your aim is actually a problem. If it's a problem, then you can DM me and, you know, I can verify it and then we can figure out a solution. But until then, don't even worry about it. Yeah. Okay. No, man, yeah, it makes sense. Um, you said my trans, my, my ultimates were like pretty okay. What would you consider to be like, like, oh, wow, like that was a good transcendence. Like what's the, there, I don't know, I guess. Is, like... That doesn't really exist. Um, uh-huh. 
I mean, you can like squeeze it a little longer, you know, use it a little bit more last second, I guess. But trance is not, it's really just an ability you either use correctly or incorrectly, you know. It's mm -hmm. a very, very simple ultimate. It's something that you, it's not like Genji Dragon Blade, you know, where it takes a long time to master. Uh, but getting the most out of Zen's trance is very, very easy to achieve. Mm -hmm. Like there's not a lot of room to excel, you know. Okay, so okay, th that helps in a way, yeah, knowing that. Um... Do you still, so you, I think you said two to three weeks ago in a question on your Discord. So basically, do you still agree outside of Graviton, uh, Dragon Blade, Flux, that I should continue, I should use Trance as like a get out of jail free card, basically? Uh, yeah, either as a get out of jail free card for yourself or just to, you know, quickly say of a tank who's about to die or something. It's just an okay. emergency heal. Mm -hmm. And then, so the, you so you said tank there. So if it looks like so if we're in a fight, so if we're in a six v six team fight and like a DPS looks like they're gonna go down, you would pro what would you? Uh, you can still. I mean, of course, yeah. Also for a DPS, it's just uh, since DPS have less HP in general, they're more prone to being bursted before you have time to like yeah. uh, react. And usually tanks are gonna go down first, anyways, because their positioning is more aggressive. Okay. Oh, I actually want to revisit this. Um, so against dive, right? Mm -hmm. So ball, so like double dive tanks, maybe even throw like a Genji or a Tracer in there. So how should I, so I, I think I understand this, right? I want to push like the breaking point, right? But so how can, how, so the same idea is in effect, right? If I'm playing against dive, Hey, I want to push, I want to be effective. Right? How far can I get? But, hmm, like, would you? Because I don't know. So I guess the the basic question. I mean, like, would you recommend the kind of positioning that I should have taken in that game if there are like three dive heroes? We'll say mm, no, because again, you're too far away from your team. You're isolating yourself. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The positioning that you mentioned. Uh, so 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 being closer, being more effective. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Being so then close to other people is a deterrent for dive. Mm -hmm. If you're asking for a way to like make it impossible for dive to dive you, that doesn't exist. They're going to dive yeah, you. That's yeah. the point behind the comp. You just need to make sure that when they dive you, that they jump into a situation that is so shitty and volatile that they're going to explode before they have a, a chance to kill anything. Okay, so so if I am playing against dive, like I guess I know I know it's not black and white, but like if I'm dying against the dives and we're winning the team fight, I mean I think you would agree that generally sounds like a good yeah. outcome. Yeah. Okay. If they okay, spend so if fucking fifteen seconds chasing you around trying to kill you, that's good. Okay. Okay. So that actually, so that's a good point. So again, you're not you're not avoiding deaths. You're always delaying deaths until you can create kills of your own. Okay. So then my question is, what's the what's like? What are the some of the best ways that I can delay the death? So because like, like I'm thinking of one scenario where I get dived and I'm dead in about stick with three your seconds. support, play around mm -hmm. cover so you can line of sight them when they jump you. Like you can kind of. Uh, troll them a little or like juke them do you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah like, yeah uh, if you have the stream still open you know like if you're in a position like this for example and they jump you yeah. you can like you know keep going around this pillar you know or like you know maybe you're in a position like over here then same thing you know you can like try to use this as cover just wasting their time okay yeah i'm just trying to find like rough guideline right because i'm because i'm gonna play rank tonight and maybe i'll go up against dive i just want to find like general guidelines so i don't really like start flaming myself for like basically dying constantly to dive oh you're going to die of course you're gonna die yeah yeah the, the question is are you taking anyone with you are mm -hmm. you you know did the enemy team have to use three ultimates to kill you or did you just explode after they farted on you you know mm -hmm. you need to look at your death and you need to say wow i feel flattered you know they really went all out to get that kill on me, huh? I must be really important. That's the mindset you need to have. 
And then how, so I guess, I, I guess this is where one tricking may become a problem. If my other support just isn't healing or if they're doing like a really shitty job of it, I guess at that point you would probably say they're get not, off Zen, okay, right? Okay, you need to listen here. You're in Masters. Yeah. People yeah. don't get to Masters without knowing how to heal other people. If they mm -hmm. don't heal you, it's because they have other people to heal. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're in Bronze, that excuse is like, okay, in Masters, yeah. it's it's not. I'm not saying that Master players are amazing, but like a Master Tirana knows how to left click. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Point, point taken. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't really have any other questions at this point. Okay. Well, then I'm going to get to my uh, closing statements. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have any questions or want me to help you with something, you can always DM me. You can mm -hmm. use this link. I just sent you to write a review if you have the time, which is always super duper appreciated. And now that you've had one session, you get to benefit from something called loyalty discounts. The way that they work is that for each session that you get, subsequent sessions get cheaper. So uh, if you ever need another session, make sure to use the link that I sent you and not the regular one. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I guess Godspeed to you. Or do you have any other questions? No, that yeah, no. At this point, I think uh, I think I'm pretty good. I mean, uh, thank you for the help, and you know, I'll definitely be in touch. And you know, in all in all likelihood, I'll you know be getting another coaching session not too far off in the future. So thank you for everything. Okay, you're welcome. Again, make sure to use the link because then you get. I think uh, second session is thirty three percent off. Um, oh. Okay. But yeah, keep in mind that the sale is over, so the prices are like back up again. So it kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, oh yeah. W uh, one last thing. Uh, in the forum, you said uh, yes, but double check with me after the session regarding recordings. This is me double checking. Yeah. Have at it.